Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV where today it's time to get continuing on our Blue Mage. Last time we started Blue Mage and completed the level 1 quest and we also got all the skills available from enemies up to level 10. Between episodes I went ahead and did some grinding to get Blue Mage itself up to level 10 which gave us the roll skills Addle and Sleep, both useful Addle for weakening enemies so they do less damage to us. Sleep is useful for interrupting enemy attacks that are going to be powerful and dangerous. It doesn't work on bosses, but neither does the neither does the equivalent on non-casters, which is low blow or inter uh, or abilities like that. So people need to stop shitting on sleep. It's exactly as useful as its equivalent spells on other classes. It just people don't realize that for whatever reason. It's I don't think it's communicated well. The issue. Anyways, today it is time for our next Blue Mage episode, which means level 10 quests, and then learning a bunch of new abilities. Hello, Martin. Martin has found time between performances to train you in the ways of blue magic. Well, well, if it ain't my gifted apprentice, Satora. Before you say anything, let me guess. You're here because you've learned Blood Drain and you want to hear my next bit of advice. I'm right, aren't I? The next step is to... It's him, the Great Azuro! It's like all my name days have come at once! Please, say it for us one more time! Ha! How could I refuse my adoring public? Ahem. Master of knowledge beyond the comprehension of mere mortals, and wielder of arcane magics as unfathomable as the deepest ocean. Hearken, foul beast, the indomitable keeper of the blue has come. Tis I, the great Azuro. He said it! He actually said it! Someone seems popular. Sorry about that, just doing my bit to keep the coin rolling in. Where were we? Ah uh, yes, I know a great spot for a bit of training. Meet me at Spineless Basin. I'll explain everything when we get there. Alright, now to continue our training under... <sighs> Martin. Alright, let's do this. Out to Spineless Basin. That'll be out the eastern exit from Ulda through the Gate of Thal. All right, where are you, Martin? There you are. What do you have for my training today? We need blood, uh, blood drain on our hot bar, as that is the ability we need for this quest, as they have mentioned. Glad to see you survived the trek. I hope the hornets didn't give you any bother. In fact, they're the reason we're here. There are some especially angry ones that would be perfect targets for practicing your blue magic. They're tough, but not too tough. Some folk call them man-eaters, but I think that's an exaggeration. Anyway, why not give Blood Drain a try? It'll draw out some of the enemy's ether to help you cast more spells. Okay, so we need to... Not fight these hornets, I suppose. You want us to go down here and wait for specific ones to appear. Lovely, though. Man-eating hornets. That's definitely an issue we should probably deal with. All right, come to me, Hornets. There you are. All right, so I believe we've talked about Blood Drain before when we unlocked it, but basically it'll absorb MP from the enemy, recharging 500 MP per use, but it costs 100 MP to use, so it's a net gain of 400, I guess? Can be useful if you've run low on MP and need to recharge it gradually over time. Or at least need a faster way of recharging it than just waiting. Hello, Martin. Who's who's this who's this friend who's talking to you? Thank you, Great Azuro, for getting rid of that pesky hornet. 
He was a right nasty bastard if I ever saw one. Here's your payment as agreed. Ah, I didn't see you there. How goes the training? Okay, so you just foisted a job off onto me then. Training? Working for free is more like it. Uh. What would Satora say? Oh crap. Um. Honestly, I, f I, feel, I feel like this is the one Satora would pick. Oh goody, now that we're at this part of the game, I have to start really thinking about our answers because we're actually going to have dialogue options and quests from here on. Uh, it's going to start showing up in the main scenario soon as well. Maybe one day I can get paid for doing nothing too. Come on, don't be like that. You had a chance to hone your skills and that bloke can go about his business without being stung to buggery. If he's willing to part with a few gill for it, who am I to say no? Once we get back to Old Doll, I'll divvy up the earnings. I'll see you outside the Celestium. Alright, well, I I can't deny that it was training. Just not very good training. Which is the sole reason I didn't pick the first option. It was training. So, it would not feel correct to complain. We're... Uh, tr training more like working for free because like we were doing it either way without the expectation of pay so that didn't feel right but if he's gonna divvy up the earnings and that feels far more fair actually ah there you are what took you so long you're showing signs of improvement but you'll want a few more tricks up your sleeve before you can step into the arena those pit fiends don't mess about. I reckon what you need is Mind Blast. Once you've learned that, come and find me and we'll continue your training. And here's your payment for the Hornet you put down. Ooh, Mind Blast, that's gonna be a tricky one. That one, if we wanna get at this level, we need to go into a dungeon and that requires going with friends. We could go unsynced, but that'd be extremely difficult actually, solo. You think I'm being stingy? Listen, miss, I've already subtracted the fees for your training. If I charge any less, I'd be cutting, I'd be cutting my own throat. All right, you be like that. All right, with the quest done, let's get to work on learning some new spells. Starting out, looks like our first spell is gonna be in the North Shroud. All right, I take that back. I couldn't find any of the enemy at the appropriate level for me. In the North Shroud, I found some level 17s, but I couldn't find a level 12 tree and sapling. All right, tree and sapling, the spell we need from you, maybe I shouldn't have stunned you, but the spell we need from you is going to be Acorn Bomb. So let's give you a moment to use it after this water cannon. Uh, please don't, please don't die, actually, before you use it. Maybe I went a little too aggressive. Jennifer, please chill. Juniper, please chill. Well, this isn't gonna work. Okay, let's be a little bit more gentle on the next one. We'll bop it, and then we'll just leave it be until it uses its ability. Just need to learn Acorn Bomb. Here we go, tree ant number two. All right, we'll not, uh, we'll not use phase this time since that'll stun you and make it harder for you to use your ability. You will use it, right? Or have you elected not to use your acorn bomb against me? There we go. Hit me? I mean, you don't have to hit me. Oh, it puts me to sleep, lovely. Okay, that is actually an issue. Still, I got hit by it. Well, at least I saw the ability. You don't need to get hit, you just need to see it. So now we can finish you off and hopefully, unless we get really unlucky, we'll get the spell. All right, there's one. Next up, we're going to West Thanalyn. 
All right, our next spell is going to come from Glide Bombs over here by Copper Bell Mines. Specifically, we are looking for Self Destruct, which I uh, expect this is about to get a little bit violent against us. I'm gonna go ahead and take it slow. Uh, I'm gonna knock you down to about half health. I wanna, I, I want to say, I want to say that Self Destruct is something you'll use in the last half of your health. No, Juniper, no. You're not stunning. You're not stunning the Glide Bomb. I will take you out of battle. There we go. Now just blow up on me. Don't kill... Don't kill me. Maybe I could have, you know, not stood in that, actually. Here, let's try that again. As a reminder, mostly to myself, it seems, you don't need to get hit by a spell in order to learn it. In fact, it's usually better to dodge the spell so you don't get got. Goodness. Okay, send out of the detonator. And now we're just gonna wait for you to use self-destruct. Maybe a little more damage won't hurt. Maybe a little more damage won't hurt. Come on. There we go. Now let's not stand in it. Did it work? No, it did not work. Curses. We're gonna have to try again. Yeah, you're not gonna learn every spell in the first attempt, unfortunately. So let's drop you down to about 30%-ish again. Now I'll just wait for you to go boom. Come on. That's detonator, that is not the spell I'm looking for. There you go, blow up for me. Got it. I'm sure I'm glad that them self-destructing, uh, them killing themselves doesn't mean we can't get the spell. If we had to deal the final blow, that could be a huge issue. Okay, next spell is also going to come from here in Western Thanalin. I want to find... Looks, uh, looks like laughing toads. And we can find plenty down here. Not sand toads. Not sand toads. Maybe sand toads, actually? Possibly? You know, any toad should have this spell that I'm looking for. If I can get some distance from you... Do you genuinely not have the spell? You seem to actually not have it. That's bizarre because Toads will absolutely use it immediately if they can. Okay, well. Looking at the coordinates, I'm seeing 14.6 and that puts us all the way up there. And I wanna say those are too high level. Okay, I know of a backup spot where we can find the toads we need. That'll be up in Central Thanalin. And that'll be all the way up uh, here at the Unholy Air. Alright, made it up to the Unholy Air. We have plenty of toxic toads. That should work. No, not phase. Oh, they're stunned. Okay, it's fine. We'll start doing damage from a distance. The further away, the better. And that should have been the spell right there. We're looking for Sticky Tongue. So now that you've used it on us, we just need to kill you and... Sticky Tongue gets. Perfect. Next spell's gonna take us off to Lenosia. All right, for the next spell, we're coming up here to the northern end of Middle Anosia, down on the lower level. 
And we are looking for, not, I mean, the fake could work, but we're looking for Vesps. Killer Vesps. And the ability we want is a bit of a dangerous one, to be honest. We need to be at like over 80% of our max health in order to safely survive this attack. And I don't know if there's a way to actually dodge it. Mm, don't like that we're taking damage. Maybe I should resummon Juniper to heal me. Juniper, please heal me. How do I... Can I convince you? Do I need to just go directly into the... Oh dear. This is a problem. Alright, well, that sucked. Well, we'll try again now that Juniper's on healing duty. So yeah, the ability we're looking for is Final Sting. And Final Sting does 80% of your health and damage, but also kills the Vest. So we definitely, definitely want Juniper on healing duty for this. Since Juniper said to the healing roll, I think we'll be fine. Let's just wear you down a bit until you're willing to use it. I'm not gonna risk damage you, uh, damaging you further. All right, Juniper, just keep me alive. We can use Adel as well to reduce your damage, though Adel only reduces magic damage. I don't think... I mean, we're learning it, so it might count as a spell. Anyways, it's like self-destruct in that it immediately kills the enemy. And we got the more you know, too, for learning 10 spells. Let me just mark that off. And with that done, another spell done, we've got one more before we move on to spells that we can begin learning from multiplayer duties. Alright, our next spell takes us over to the Bramble Patch in East Shroud. Before we go fighting level 20 enemies, let's take a look at our new spells in our spell book. Final Sting! Deals physical damage with a potency of 2,000 while incapacitating self. Inflicts brush with death on self for uh, 10 minutes. Lovely. Effect will not be removed upon revival or further incapacitation. Cannot be executed while under the effect of Rush with Death. Okay, fair enough. Can't use it multiple times within a 10 minute span. That is a powerful ability though. Okay, Acorn Bomb puts target and all enemies nearby to sleep. Oh, no, 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 no. Didn't mean to do that. That's pretty good. AoE sleep ability. AoE equivalent of our literal sleep spell. Self-destruct deals fire damage with a potency of 1,500 to all nearby enemies while incapacitating self. Potency is increased to 1,800 when you are under the effect of Toad Oil. Inflicts brush with, self on, brush with death on self for 10 minutes. Okay, so AoE equivalent of Final Sting. Sticky Tongue draws target towards caster. Good ability, actually. And also stuns for 4 seconds and increases enmity. And I think that looks to be all of them that we've learned so far. So let's go ahead and set these. Acorn Bomb is an AoE equivalent of sleep, so we'll put it there. Sticky Tongue, I'm going to put it there. Which is where I normally put my gap closers, which normally bring you to the enemy, but this brings the enemy to us, so I think that's I think that'll work just fine. Alright. Oh no 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 not not the bat. Okay. Well for the boar we're looking for the ability bristle. Let's focus target so I can oh dear god. Well, that sucked. Yeah, I don't we might not be high enough level for this actually. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me go do some level grinding, and we'll come back for Bristle in a little bit. After I respawn in Revenant's Toll. Okay, well, this is unfortunate. We were trying to grind me levels up in Northern Thanalan, uh, so that we could do the tr duties coming up. The, uh, Tom Tara has a spell I want to learn, and Bull of Embers has a spell I want to learn. We were fighting enemies up here to try and grind me levels, and I accidentally learned a spell. I was fighting, fighting the B rank target, um, Flame Sergeant, oh, I forget his name, but Flame Sergeant up here in 
Northern Thanalan. What spell did I learn? I learned Loom. Where is Loom? There it is. Level 7. Okay, move quickly to the specified location. Cannot be executed while bound. So that's a useful um, gap closer, I suppose. But I accidentally learned it off screen. So that sucks. I'm sorry about that. Uh, oops. Huge mistakes have been made. Oh, well, I might end up showing that on the list. Uh, I might end up using uh, my main account to show learning that when I get to it. But for now, we're going back to grinding me levels. And hopefully this doesn't take too long. All right, made it to the end of Tomtara Deepcroft, got up to level 20 with the help of my friends. Also looked up Loom, it comes from Flame Sergeant Dalvog up in North Thanalin, which is the b rank target for that area. All right, we need to get the spell Mind Blast out of Galvanth. Need Mind Blast to be used first before we kill Galvanth. But thankfully, we've got all these imps in the way here. You know what? Let me set you as focus target so I can see your spell cast, even when I'm targeting other enemies. All right, come on, use Mind Blast. You're just gonna keep casting water forever, aren't you? Please. Please, Galvan, please. Someone is quite stubborn. Is he just gonna keep using water? Is he just gonna keep using water forever? There we go, Mind Blast. All right, since this one is required to unlock a quest, it is a guaranteed get. Awesome. That is another spell done. All right, next one is gonna come from Ifrit, actually. All right, here we go. Fighting Ifrit, let's get this spell. For Ifrit, I need Eruption. So we're gonna need to see that get used first. When does it get used, I wonder? Genuinely, I was not paying attention to the cast bar. I'm not sure if that was it. I'm feeling a little out of it right now. I'm still, I'm still a little thrown off by the fact that we accidentally got Loom. I'm, I'm a little bit upset about that. The fact that I wasn't recording. Oh, well, it was an accident. It happens. At, at the very least, we have shown where you get it, what it does. It's a gap closer. Maybe we just need you to be low on health before you'll actually give the spell. And unfortunately, with the way this spell works, um, Eruption can be very, very hard to actually get. I think it's a five-star spell, and the more stars a spell has, the harder it is to learn. That is, the lower its learn rate is. It's a random chance whether we learn it. So we may need to try this several times over. There's Eruption. Now we can kill. I have cutscene skip turned off right now. Ah, uh, due to f things. I'm gonna need to fix that. Okay, didn't get it this time. We'll just have to keep trying. Okay, got it on the fourth attempt. Oh, looks like we both got it. Nice. All right, got Eruption out of Ifrit, and that is the last duty spell I was looking for, so I'll be able to go get Bristle on my own now. 
Okay, back in the East Shroud, let's go get revenge and get Bristle out of the boars. On our way over to fight them again now that we're level 20. Let's take a look at the other spells we've picked up. Oh, I feel so bad that I picked up Loom on accident. Oh well, it's fine. I, I, I've told you and shown you where to get it. I've told you who to fight. It's the B-Rank target in North Thanalan. We've shown you what it does. Well, at least it's description. Move quickly to specify location. It's a gap closer. Where the hell? Okay, I'm just barely off path. It's... I'll, I'll just have to put up with it. I'm just a little salty. No, boar. No. Back off. I'm showing spells right now. Let's see, what else did we get? We got... Here we go, Mind Blast! Deals on aspected damage to all nearby enemies with a potency of 200 for the first and 50% less for the remaining enemies. And inflicts Paralysis, not bad. 200 versus, what do I have right n No, come on, I'm trying to change my hotbars. It is Bomb Throw. Bomb Throw is my current. 250% less for all remaining. Three seconds stun. 30 second paralysis. I don't know. Hmm. Both are good. But in different ways. And eruption deals fire damage with a potency of 300 to all enemies at a designated location. Shares a recast timer with feather rain. Definitely going to use that. Okay. Now where do I want to set these? These are both AoEs. So we'll put... Mind Blast there, and Eruption there, I guess. Yeah, that'll be good. Now let's go fight the boars, and also get off of the chat window now that we're no longer in a party. Okay, Juniper, I still got you on healing duty, that's fine. We are looking for the spell Bristle. One of you can use it, please. Okay, I think you used it, judging from the fact you got a buff right there. No, that must not have been it. Dang it. But you have a buff on. Boost. Yeah, no, that's Bristle. You used Bristle. Bristle gives that boost buff, so... You must have used it, I just didn't see a cast bar. There we go. Got Bristle, and that was the last spell I was looking to learn from enemies today. And that is going to be... Where are you? There you are. Increases the potency of the next spell cast by 50%, duration 30 seconds, cannot, effect cannot be sacked with Harmonize. All right, yeah, it can make your next attack quite powerful. Very good if you have a if you have a really strong attack that you want to make even more powerful. And yeah, I mentioned earlier, eruptions a five star, I believe. Yeah, the higher the ranking up there, you see under type and aspect, the higher that ranking, the lower the probability of actually learning it is. So you may need to try many times to get eruption. Okay, that is the spells I wanted to learn from enemies. The last one I want to get for today, also worth pointing out. We got a few more roll spells, Swift Cast and Lucid Dreaming, both very good. All right, last spell, we're gonna go check in with our Mamulja friends to see if they've got any more Wallachy Tomes. All right, hello there friends, got any more Tomes for me? Let's see, what do you got? Totems, not Tomes. Let's see, two more are available. We can learn a protective technique for Mighty Guard, and we can learn White Wind. Let's see what these give. All right, White Wind. And the other one is Mighty Guard, both for learning 10 spells. Let's check these out. Mighty Guard. Reduces damage taken by 40% while reducing damage dealt by 40%. Increasing enmity generation and preventing casting interruptions while via damage taken. Taken. Okay, so it is basically an emergency protect me 
Uh, I need to take less damage, but it's high risk because it'll make enemies more pissed at you and you also won't be able to damage enemies as well. Don't think I'm going to use that. I can see the uh, I can see where it might be useful, but that sounds too risky for me. And White Wind restores own HP and HP of all party members by an amount equal to your current HP. Ooh. Ooh, very good. Yeah, definitely setting a healing spell up. Definitely worthwhile. Give me that White Wind. Okay, good progress. We got all the spells up to level 20, I believe. And we finished off the level 10 quest. We'll, we'll check in with Blue Mage again in patch 2.2, but for now, next time on Final Fantasy XIV, it's time for the Starlight Celebration. I'll see everyone next time for that.